Hi, and welcome to Life at the Mesa. So today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different, but I still think it's equally as important as the points I've touched on previously. Up to this point in my blog, I've talked about the different types and sources of carbs, fat, protein. I've talked about ways to eat on a healthy budget, simple snack ideas, things of that nature. And those are all tools to help you get on that track towards a healthier lifestyle. But I also wanted to make a video about balance because that's something very important within a healthy lifestyle. A healthy lifestyle should bring you energy, fulfillment, joy, it should make you feel good about yourself and it should definitely not put you down or put you in a negative mindset but that can happen if you become obsessive about any one of the habits that relate to a healthy lifestyle. So the most common area I would say that it happens in is in terms of our calories, in terms of the amount of macronutrients, and that's usually where the bulk of it is. People get so caught up in their day-to-day -day lives with counting those calories and counting those macronutrients, and while it's not a bad thing to do those things, but when it becomes a problem is if you're constantly checking in with that app or constantly logging those calories and you have to look to that before you make a decision on what you're going to eat for the day. Those apps and those charts are intended to help guide you, but they should not be your first area that you go to before you decide to eat. If I were to start stressing so much about did I get this much protein and did I get this much carbs and did I go over my calorie count, that's when it puts stress on myself, stress on my body, and then it takes something that is enjoyable, something uplifting, something fulfilling, and it turns it into something that you don't want to do anymore and something that just seems to be like a burden. You go from being health conscientious to becoming obsessive, and that is something that can manifest itself later into an eating disorder or something of that nature. Living a healthy lifestyle is not at all about perfection. It's not about having 10 servings of vegetables every single day. It's not about being so restricted that you look at all the foods you can't have. It doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be impossible to achieve a healthy lifestyle, but all that needs to be there is intention. One not so great choice does not ruin the entire day of eating. Just look forward to making a better choice the next meal around or adding in some extra veggies here where you can. But it's not about perfection. Everybody messes up from time to time, but it's about getting back up. I want you to be very gentle with yourself. I want you to practice self-love. If you think about the relationships that you have, your friendships, your significant others, your parents, your aunts, your uncles, whatever type of relationship, think about how you talk to them, how you interact with them. Typically, you talk to them with love and you're very kind to them, and that's because you love them. Well, you should hold yourself to that regard as well. The way you talk to yourself internally is a huge, huge, huge factor in your behaviors. Don't be so hard on yourself to the point you talk down and you put yourself in a negative space and you take something that was supposed to make you feel good about yourself and turn it into something that makes you feel down and worse about yourself. Be gentle with yourself and love yourself enough to make the right decisions or to make the healthier decision because you love your body, you love what it will do for you but don't do it for the sole purpose because you think you have to or you think that you're a failure if you don't do so. It is completely and 100% up to you and you will get out of it what you put into it. Nutrition and fitness is not a one size fits all. It is different and it's dependent on what goals that you have and what you would like to see and get out of your health. Make the decision that's right for you and you will find happiness, you will find joy, and you will find your own version of balance. Point blank, what I'm trying to tell you is care for yourself enough to make the decision that will build you up to be the best and the strongest that you can be, but don't do it at the expense of your mental health. I really wanted to make a video about this point because I didn't think a blog post was enough to relay how passionate and how important I think this point is. I'm going into nutrition and I want to be a registered dietitian someday, but I also want to stress the importance of loving yourself and caring for yourself and listening to your body. Those are all important aspects of nutrition and health, even though it's not directly related, 
it is still so important. Once you establish your balance within your life, you will find so much happiness and you will thrive in your new and healthy lifestyle. So I really hope this helped you out. Um, if you enjoyed this, give it a like, give it a comment. If you have any feedback, any suggestions for future videos, uh, really any comments at all. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.